Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how I make my baddies. And this doesn't have to only be like the Peppa Pig baddies, you can literally do this with any cartoon characters that you want. But for now, we're going to focus on our Peppa Pig series. So, let's get started. And just a quick FYI, if you would like to get your own iPad, I got mine used and I got it for a really good deal. And I also got my Apple Pen from Amazon as well. I'll leave a link to it below. But you don't have to get a brand spanking new iPad. You can literally get a used one and it's good as new. I had this for like three, four years now and it still works. So yeah, let's get into the video. So I cut out a huge step in the process, which is looking for your pictures. I did all of that for you guys. And if you go to filmblindbag.com and click free templates, if you scroll all the way down, I made a section where you can click and download any of your characters, any of your hair, any products, anything and everything that you see in my videos. I made a folder with all of the characters, items, etc, etc. So we're going to use Peppa, so we're just going to click the download button and we're going to download it. You're going to notice that none of the characters have a background and this makes the process so much easier, simpler for you guys. I had to cut out the background for all of the characters so you don't have to go on Google and look for the character and cut it out yourself. You can just have a pre cut out character for you and voila here is peppa and this is our base that we're going to work with and now i'm going to download the rest of our items if there's any makeup items that you would want me to add to this section just let me know in the comment section below also in the video i'll show you quickly how i remove the background off of certain items you're gonna see that as you watch the video but if you want me to do it for you, just let me know what items you would like to see and I will try to add it as soon as possible. So I'm just going to show you a little hack for all of those who would like to know how I make it look like I take the items out of the bag. All you have to do is make a layer, a new layer, and then make a circle below the bag. And make it the same color as the background so the background is white so I'm making a white circle and then once you turn back on the background and you put your brush into the bag it looks like nothing is coming out of the bag or nothing is clipping through the bag so yeah that's how I make it look like I'm taking items out of the bag so to make it look like you're removing the cap you're gonna click the lasso tool and you're gonna select the cap you're going to click copy, paste, and it's going to automatically make a new layer. You're going to move that cap, that new cap, and you're going to place it on top of your makeup. And the old cap, we're just going to select it with the lasso tool again, and then we're going to remove it off of the canvas, and it's going to automatically delete it. And to select both of them at the same time, all you have to do is make a new layer by dragging and placing it on top of each other. You can name this new group foundation and once you click the group folder, it's going to automatically move both the cap and the bottle at the same time. But if you click the bottle alone, it's just going to move the bottle. But you don't want that. You want them to move at the same time. So you're going to click the whole folder and it's going to move both of them at the same time. And to remove the cap, all you have to do is select the cap alone and it will remove your cap. Next, I'm going to show you how I put makeup on the beauty blender. So now what we're going to do, we're going to click this button right over here and it's going to pop this item right over here. We're going to select the color of the bottle and then we can use this to put our makeup on our beauty blender make a new layer and then you're going to click clipping mask and it's it has to be below the beauty blender and once you do that it's going to automatically draw only on the beauty blender and you're going to notice it's not going anywhere else then you're going to use your smudging tool to blend it together and voila you have makeup on your beauty blender and you can now pretend like you're putting makeup on your character. And again, to make both of your items move at the same time, just make one group 
and click the whole group and it's going to move both the makeup and the beauty blender at the same time. But we don't want brown. Peppa, she's pink, so we're going to make our foundation pink. So to make it pink, all you have to do is click the lasso tool and we're going to only select the bottle with the makeup. We're not going to change the color of the cap. Just select the bottle and then you're going to click the wand tool and then click hue, saturation, and brightness. Then you're going to see three different sliders at the bottom. You have the hue and this is where you change the color. You can change it to red, yellow, orange, green, blue, whatever color they have. We're going to focus on pink and then you can change the saturation. You can change it to hot pink or light pink. We're going to keep it like somewhere in the middle and then you can change the brightness. You don't really want to mess with this too much. Just keep it in the 50s and you should be good. And yeah, we have the foundation for Peppa. And after you do that, you can also change the, the color of the makeup on the Beauty Blender as well. So once you have that done, now you can pretend to put the makeup on your character. And that's how I make my videos. And yes, this is a long process, especially when you're focusing with other makeup like uh what is it eyeshadow all these other makeup eyeliner it can be a long process but we're not going to focus on using the tools i'm just going to focus now on actually coloring in our character so right now i'm just cleaning up the imperfections now i know intentionally they made the lines go outside and you know make it look a little messy it's a child cartoon so i understand that that's the design that they were going for but that's not what we're doing today we're turning peppa into a baddie so i'm just gonna clean up the lines real quick as you can see a before and after it looks clean and now i'm just gonna show you quickly how i edit the characters and make them have different eye shapes now i know candy cat you'll notice that she has a different eye shape from the rest of the group as well as mummy pig or mommy pig however you want to say it and i would only do this if you're using the tape for the eyes i know they have a tool like called eye tape or whatever it changes the shape of your eye so yeah you would only do this step if you're using that makeup selection but if you're not using makeup at all and you're just drawing for fun then yeah just go at it have fun and you know change stuff around it doesn't have to look exactly like the character from the show again we're adding our own spice we're badifying her so she will look a little different from her original design <laughs> So after I get the eye shape that I would like, now I'm just going to pull back up the lashes that I added. I added lashes off screen to see if I would like it. And I like how everything is looking. And you're going to notice you can download the eyelash pack as well in my shop. Um, or not in my shop, but in the section where you download everything at. And I'm just going to fix her lashes real quick with my brush. And yeah, after I like the lashes, I'm going to move on to the lips. Now I'm just going to go to the lipstick section. You're going to click on that and then you're going to scroll to the lips. And then this is where you can find your lips. I'm going to, again, I'm going to add more, but as for now, these are the lips that we have. And you can also download the contacts as well if you want to or you can draw your own contacts if you want so i'm just gonna put them on her face and i'm gonna use the liquid tool i'm gonna slow it down so you can see it and you're just gonna shape the lips however you desire so now i'm just drawing a eye design you can go on like google images and look up a design i'm looking at a design right now i'll probably place a picture on the side so you can see like the the inspiration that i'm getting this look from but yeah i'm just drawing whatever i see i'm just drawing it on my peppa pig character
Every time I think about you, I cry. When you write, when you call, when you come up, your love is amazing to me. I can't wait till I see you. I wanna be what you were gave. And every time you're out on the road, I'll make it true. And whenever I'm doing a show, don't you forget that I'm your main chick. Who yeah. got the danger? One in the same chick, the one you can hang with.
just wanted to stop by and say look i'm speeding up this video it took me like a couple of hours to get this done each character that i do it takes this long because i really go in depth with the makeup and everything to make it look as good as possible and take your time it doesn't really have to be a rush just have fun and enjoy the process so after you're done with your makeup you're gonna go to the hair section i have colors ranging from black brown blonde and ginger we're gonna focus on some brown hair because her mom has brown hair so i'm just gonna stick with brown and i like how this hair looks now you're gonna notice some of the hair you're gonna notice a little white and all you have to do is just erase it and smudge and blend and you should be fine So I just want to encourage you guys, I want you to know that no, I am not a magician. This is how I draw the hair and I'm using a hair brush. There are brushes online that you can download for free and it gives you the effect to make it look like it's actual strands of hair. I'm not a magician again. I downloaded this for free and I'll leave a link to all of the free brushes that I use in this video. And it's gonna be in the description box below.
So once you're done with your hair, what you're going to do is you're going to download the body separately from the hair because now we're going to focus on putting on her actual clothes. So to do that, all you have to do is click the tool button, click share, and then click PNG. And the reason why you want to click PNG is because it's going to download without a background. If you click JPEG or JPEG it's going to download with a background that they're gonna put for you and we don't want a background and yeah after you download the hair and the body separately next we're gonna place on a new canvas we're gonna place our Peppa Pig or your Peppa character and your wig separately and you can place it on when you want to but we're gonna focus on the body we're gonna focus on looking for some outfits in the past I did the most craziest thing which was looking for separate pieces of clothing and then adding it together but I find that it's easier if you just find the outfit that is already together and it makes life so much simpler so you're gonna notice after you have your outfit you're like hey okay how do i just have the outfit alone well all you're gonna do is go on google type in free background remover and you can click either the first or second link i chose the second one it's called remove background you can choose any one and after you place your image in the selection it's going to automatically remove the background and then after that just download your outfit and all you're gonna have is your body and your outfit now later on I'm gonna draw over the body so it can look like Peppa's body but right now I'm just focusing on making the hair fit with the body that we just placed down after I stretch the body and place it exactly how I want it to be, now I'm just going to trace over the body in the color pink to make it look like Peppa's body. Do it!
so once you're done coloring in the body you can add your own nails you can add your own accessories you can add all of the extra stuff that you want to make her look badified i even add baddie vibes clips in her hair and you can find all of these items on google and yeah i almost thought i was done but i just realized that her hair looks a little funny so i'm just gonna go in with my hair brushes and i'm just gonna fix up the bottom ends a little bit and i'm just gonna give her some fly away hair as well to make it look a little more realistic and yeah that is the process that i go through this is really fun and yeah i really loved making this valentine's day peppa baddie look and yeah it was really fun it was a really fun process i always love making baddies and going through this process and hopefully you enjoy it as well and as you continue to watch this tutorial i actually have some exciting news so stay tuned voila we are done peppa is in her baddie valentine's fit and i'm loving the vibe it's giving heartbreaker it's giving <laughs> okay let me stop let me stop okay so next after you're done with your baddie you're gonna remove the background and you're gonna click p and g again if you click jpeg it's going to add a background but if you click png it's going to download your image without a background and you want it without a background because if you're doing stuff like this where you have like other background characters you don't want a background so you can have your characters standing side by side and yes this is peppa's family i badified the whole family mommy pig poppy pig and george you know they're all looking finessed and yeah this is how you make your baddies and this is how you give your characters a nice little transformation and don't think we're done yet because we have some exciting news i'm happy to announce that our new school baddie haven academy is now accepting our new students do you think you have what it takes to join our school baddie haven academy is just a fun group where we get to learn new tricks and tips on how to become more creative and everything is going to be online it's not a physical school but again it is a fun group that you get to be a part of we're going to do fun things like participate in friendly competitions and you know we could even win prizes i'm going to give away some prizes in the future once we continue to progress in our academy but enough said let's get into how we can join this academy so as you can see i made this form and it's a very simple form it says name age birthday nationality etc etc now you're not filling out your information you're filling out the information of the baddie that you are creating you can only make a baddie from the show peppa pig you cannot make a baddie from another show like I don't know bluey i know some people want me to make bluey characters we're not doing any of the characters besides the peppa pig characters and you can only choose the girl characters because this is an all girls school once you fill in the information of your baddie you're going to email your information to the email below again make sure you email your filled out form let's say your handwriting is not as neat as you would want it to be that is okay you don't have to fill it out i will fill it out for you but you need to email me the typed up information of your baddie next make sure you also email me a photo of your baddie it is best that you create a big image of your baddie if you make the image too small when it's time for me to make it large it will be too blurry also when you're sending your form you don't have to put your character on the page i will do that for you but if you want to do it yourself make sure that it's not covering any of the words if it's covering it slightly that's okay as long as it's not covering it excessively 
And lastly, if you want to put stickers, if you want to decorate your form, you can definitely do that. But please, please do not cover any of these areas as we see right here. Also, please, if you're going to write out your information, do not use any colors that are too light. If they're too light, I may not be able to read it and I will have to disapprove the form. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys participate in this little, it's not a competition. It's a little group that we're trying to make. And we're all about having fun, being creative. And I feel like this is going to be really fun. Like I want to interact with you guys more. So I feel like this is a really good time and a really good event to really, you know, get to know you guys better, get to interact with you guys. And I don't think I've ever been live on YouTube. So I want to go live on YouTube very soon. I just want to get all of these forms from you guys and then we can have fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.